Ladies and gentlemen, the Raiders have just received the best news they could have possibly hoped for regarding quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. It appears as if the Raiders have completely fooled the entire NFL and this really does change everything for their season this year. Plus, there are some rumors around Hunter Renfro could a move possibly happen soon. Remember all the way back to June when genius Josh McDaniels said he had no anxiety regarding the Jimmy Garoppolo situation. Confidence that... <laughs> I have no, I have no anxiety. That's right. Okay, there you go. You guys might have anxiety. <laughs> is there, so is there I don't have any anxiety. I have very good information that, you know, would tell me that, you know, we're we're going to be fine. You know what I mean? So McDaniels laughed. It seemed like he knew something that no one else did. It seemed like there was some information that was withheld. And if the rest of the media knew that information, then maybe they would be as optimistic as him. Because remember, Addendum G is in Jimmy Garoppolo's contract, where if he could not pass a physical, the Raiders could move on from him and save money, save his entire contract. And it seemed like with the surgery that he had in early April that it would be very difficult for him to make the training camp deadline. Unless, of course, there was a prior surgery that happened in the offseason that we do not know about. Based on Garoppolo's timeline and hints from people like Michael Lombardi, he must have had some type of treatment that was not reported prior to free agency in March. And that is why, even this morning, you had the Las Vegas Review Journal beat reporter for the Raiders, Vincent Bosignor, talking about how Jimmy Garoppolo is likely to go on the pup list and is a primary candidate for that. And then he immediately had to retract that later, saying that that tweet did not age well because of this report from Adam Schefter. Adam Schefter has officially reported that Jimmy Garoppolo did pass his physical this morning. All the veterans reported this Sunday and it looks like Garoppolo is now expected to compete in training camp coming up in just a few days. This means that he's not going to be on the physically unable to report list. This means, according to Vincent Bosignor, that he will be a full go, the Raiders officially have their starting quarterback at the beginning of training camp. Now, there still is that clause in his contract where if he does re-injure his left foot, the Raiders can move on from him. But at the same time, the Raiders are now over the cap since Jimmy Garoppolo's entire contract is counting against the cap. So they'll likely restructure his deal, give him a bonus back to free up some cap space. And when they do that, that means they're fully committed to Garoppolo this year, counting on him staying healthy. Now that he's healthy right now can he stay healthy and help this team get some victories and look guys i'm not sold on josh mcdaniels and i was never sold on freaking the niners leftovers jimmy garoppolo i'm worried about the injury concerns but at the same time i'm happy that this guy's ready to go and compete in training camp i'm happy for the fans that the raiders may actually be able to put a competent product on the field and i'm happy for some of these players like Devonte adams and possibly josh jacobs if he does sign the tag we know that devontae has been trying to convince him to just roll on the tag because he knows what it's like to be tagged as well. I'm happy for all these guys that we have a freaking shot now and it's not going to just be a wasted season. It's not going to be a wasted season because with Garoppolo at quarterback, even though I don't think this guy is great, even though I think he needs a good team around him, the Raiders have great weapons on the offensive side of the football and he's competent enough to deliver the football to his playmakers and the Raiders should be able to get just as many wins as they did last year and if not more, if not more. Josh Josh McDaniels has no excuses now with a healthy Jimmy Garoppolo. He's gotten his guys and he's replaced key players at certain positions on the offense and defensive side of the football. And so now the Raiders should be able to take a step up, take a step up from last year and perhaps shock people with the playoff appearance. That's what we want to see for the Las Vegas Raiders this year. And there are some people who wanted the Raiders to tank. Oh, just tank for Caleb Williams. And look, I know that that makes sense sometimes if you want to get your next franchise QB on a rookie deal, but I never want to see the Raiders tank, man. I think we have tanked enough throughout my last 20 years as a fan. I want wins. I don't even care if you don't get to the playoffs. I'd rather get some victories. And now you see Caleb Williams here on Instagram 16 hours ago posting the blueprint and he has a picture of him at Allegiant Stadium. So it seems like Caleb Williams, the projected number one overall pick coming out of USC, is teasing wanting to be the Raiders quarterback. But with Jimmy Garoppolo there, with Jimmy Garoppolo healthy, able to at least play. Hey, even if 
the guy doesn't play the entire season but plays so let's say 12 games the Raiders are definitely going to get some victories and they're not going to just be getting the number one overall pick so for those of you wanting the Raiders to tank I think you're gonna have to kiss those dreams goodbye as long as Jimmy Garoppolo stays healthy and there are some rumors now that Hunter Renfro may be in jeopardy of losing his roster spot on the Raiders team there are some contract implications from this you got David Carr reacting to this saying that this is completely wild but it really does make sense since the Raiders added Jacoby Myers and they also drafted Trey Tucker in the third round it seems like Renfro's job has been in jeopardy this entire offseason even though the Raiders gave him a contract extension last year and because of that extension the Raiders cannot cut Hunter Renfro if they cut Hunter Renfro they would eat 12.6 million dollars in cap space and dead money and then 5.5 the next year and they wouldn't save anything you're only saving four hundred and seventy thousand dollars that's nothing when it comes to the NFL yes if you get a trade it could be feasible you would save some cash this year but not that much so I don't think Renfro is a cut candidate maybe they will trade him if they can get a good draft pick for him but it's likely that they'll just keep him on the depth chart in case somebody gets injured let him play out his contract this year that's what I see happening with Hunter Renfro unless some other team out there offers a significant draft pick maybe a fourth round pick third round pick which is actually asking a lot for a player who just has two years remaining on his contract and the Raiders did a charity softball game with the Golden Knights and Nate Hobbs had a little hiccup there he tried to catch a fly ball and it hit him in the face and there's just some blood there yeah the pictures look intense but he should be good to go it should not affect him it's not that crazy but it makes you think maybe the Raiders will be reluctant to let their players participate in crazy games like this in the future and like I said earlier, personally, I was never sold on Garoppolo. I wanted to see the Raiders get more of a younger mobile QB, something different than Derek Carr. But I still think that Garoppolo is a competent quarterback when he's healthy. I don't think this guy is top 15, one of the greatest QBs, Pro Bowl QB. No, but I do think he's competent where he can deliver the football to his playmakers. He can understand the offense and the Raiders have a lot of playmakers. Even without Hunter Renfro, you have some guys you can make plays. Obviously, the Raiders want to see Trey Tucker pan out since they drafted him. And you also have DeAndre Carter, who made a significant amount of plays in the slot for the Chargers last year. And on top of that, Jacoby Myers, this guy has been productive in New England. You gotta give him credit. Over 800 yards the past two seasons, eight touchdowns between the past two seasons, and over 60 catches. So this guy has been more productive than some of the number two wide receivers we've had on this team for many years. And if you're asking me right now, would I rather have Devontae Adams and Jacoby Myers over Devontae Adams and Matt? Mac Hollins, I'm taking, I'm obviously taking Adams and Myers all day. So it's great to have some good news, some positive stuff to report. And hopefully the team could keep building on this momentum. We're going to see them at training camp, see how well they gel. And then early August, they're going to have that scrimmage against the 49ers. Everything is heating up and the season is right around the corner, guys. So make sure you subscribe to this channel to get more updates from me on the Raiders. And I got all these other videos about the Raiders that you may have missed on this channel. We got documentaries, all kinds of stuff that are still relevant today so just search wi-fi willy and any raiders topic and you could find it on this channel hey peace out and i hope you have a good one